Hi, I'm Brad Paul, and welcome to the Acoustic Cafe. This is where we bring you the best in contemporary folk music. And I'd like to introduce my guest, John Gorka. Hi. Hi, John. <laughs> you, you, you're right on cue. That's Thank you. great. You know, very few people get that. I know, I know. You're going right to the head. We'll have you back, John. How Thank is you. that? <laughs> I think we'll have you back again. How have you been? I haven't seen you in a bit. Yeah, it's yeah. been a while. I, I guess I've been busy. I've been, been traveling a lot. And playing. Actually, I saw you, I don't know if you saw me, it was New York a couple weeks ago, The Bottom Line. At, oh, at, uh, you're at the, the show with the Windmill Legacy, Legacy Show. The Legacy yeah. Show. Oh. It's kind of a heavy name. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. You guys having a hard time living up to that? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was fun. I had a good time. And... Uh, Tell us a little, little bit about the project. It, it's Wyndham Hill Records. Yeah, it's foray it's, into music with words. That's right. right. It, mm -hmm. it actually has uh, people like me on it. Uh, uh, it's 15 different singer-songwriters from around the country. Most of them are, well, a lot of them were, were people I knew from the mainly from the north northeast uh, folk scene with Cliff Eberhardt and uh, mm -hmm. Bill Morrissey. And uh, in fact, you'd shared records with him in the past on the on the fast fast folk, folk projects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it was it was kind of like a uh, like a reunion on on vinyl there uh, with those people, and it was also quite a few people I'd never heard of before from some of them from Canada and, uh, and California and Texas and, mm -hmm. and uh, but a lot of the people from the Northeast were friends friends of mine. So, but it's uh, it's a collection of fifteen songs that's. Uh, it's out in in the malls. I've seen them in Caldors and <laughs> Kmart's. Now so there is a it's, sign it's, of it's, success. It's really out there. So yeah. uh, so that's the first time any of my songs have been available in malls. You're gonna start doing mall shows? <laughs> well, we're hoping to do, yeah. do some. Mm -hmm. uh, we're talking to De Debbie Gibson's people, and uh, <laughs> we're hoping things will work out. That'll be great. Amazing thing. John Gorka at your local <laughs> mall. I think it's a concept. I think it could really work. At least for a while. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's happening with the Fast Folk? Uh, are, they, are those records still coming out? I think they're still coming out. Mm -hmm. The last one I saw was a, a, a Los Angeles issue of people from um, Los Angeles uh, who were on it, <laughs> oddly enough. And uh, uh, so it's still happening. And, uh, and, I, and I imagine it'll be uh, live shows as there were in the past, but they'll be in the future. Mm hmm. Tell us uh, just a real quick history of the Fast Folk for those people well, watching who don't know. Well, it was started by uh, Jack Hardy and a few other people in the Greenwich Village in uh, 1982. I guess it, it followed about... The first issue came out in February, February of 1982 and featured... Uh, oh, Suzanne Vega was on that record. Uh, I think Frank Christian and Dave Van Ronk. There were people who who were somewhat known and uh, mostly unknown. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's what what uh, the Fast Folk did, was uh, was it exposed uh, the music of, of, of a lot of unknown songwriters uh, to a, a large, uh, or at least an audience. <laughs> <laughs> Not a large audience, but enough to for people to start uh, being able to play in places that they, they'd never been before. Sure. And uh, that, that was the, true in, in, in my case. I, it was the first time uh, any of my songs were on, got on record. And they actually, I was real surprised that they actually got played by anyone. And, uh, and the people were familiar with some of the songs uh, I'd written even before I'd been there myself to play them. So it, it worked. <laughs> Certainly it worked because a number of the people that were on those records and that played the Speakeasy, which mm -hmm. is the club connected with the records, right. Yeah, because it, it a lot of them are doing quite well these yeah, days. Yeah, there's some people who are say. who are actually actually making a living at at playing music and uh, and a good living. Yeah, yeah. Now, aside from the legacy compilation of which you have one song, right? On, you're going to be making an entire album for Wendy right. Helen. Yeah, that's so that's uh, about to come out or just come out. Yeah, that that'll be out uh, as soon as it's done mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> on on Wyndham Hill Records and uh, it's uh, I'm real pleased that it's uh, with the uh, with the sound of this record, uh, and with with the songs that are on, I like a lot of them a lot. <laughs> well, that's good. Uh, you wrote them. Yeah. Or did Bill Morrissey write? No, them? no, I, I wrote oh, them. Yeah. Okay. Right. But, but uh, 
So tell us a little bit about the record itself. Are, are some of the songs familiar to us? Material yeah, some you of the, some of the songs that were a couple of the songs were on the Fast Folk uh, that didn't make it onto my first record. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them. Oh, I probably won't be doing any of them tonight, but but they'll be on <laughs> it. Uh, there's songs uh, that are old, some older songs, some newer songs. The, the title song, I, I think, uh, is is going to be uh, or is uh, the land of the bottom line, which is an older song. It was mm -hmm. on the Fest Folk, and uh, it's songs about. It's funny you should mention that. Driving here tonight, listening to the news, within the space of six minutes, I heard that phrase, that the phrase. bottom line, at least three times. And yeah, it's a terrible, it terrible, scary kind of. Yeah, yeah, it is a terrible phrase, but I try to uh, try to put in scary things in my in songs sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Winter cows was not a particularly scary song on the last Although some, album. some people get some humor in there. Well, some people think that there's a lot of uh, scary, scary scenes in that song. Mm -hmm. uh, this next record will have a song, uh, also a song of love, nutrition, and barnyard animals, uh, <laughs> called "Prom Night in Pigtown," and it's oh, about, that's a great one. I know pigs. that. I know yeah. that song. That's uh, that's a particular favorite of mine. That and uh, Greg Brown's uh, four wet pigs. four wet pigs. Uh, yeah, there's Pigtown. I think we could do too. a compilation record. Maybe oh, Wyndham Hill would be into a compilation oh, record of pig songs or, pigs, or, hog or, or songs, just animal songs. Farm songs could be a thing. Well, John, you're going to play for us now. I'd like to. What do you think? I, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, <let> me <laughs> it's always easier for me to, to sing the songs than it was for me to talk about them. So uh, here it goes. Life is full. And I am full of life Standing here without illusion You know I almost had a wife It could be the path I've chosen Just leaves no room for someone else Somewhere keeping to herself Well, I can't say that I blame her I think that I could take that ride When love is worse than being lonely It leaves you twisted up so on the outside you'll see normal But that only lasts a little while Before you wear it in your bearing It's in the way before you smile see couples who seem happy and wonder how they got that way are they blind or kind of stupid or are they having a good day standing here without illusion No, I almost had a wife But life is full of disappointment Yes, and I am full of life Life is full of disappointment Yes, and I am
Thank you. Yo 
things used to be A summer's fading song It's from me, it's to you For your eyes It's a way wonder that is why for two more if, if I don't talk too much. Um, this next one is actually a medley of two songs that I put together earlier uh, earlier this year. And I tried doing them separately. They didn't work out. So I put them together and they seemed to work better. And uh, the first part of the medley was inspired by my feet. And the second was inspired by uh, uh, last year's elections. This is called the Body Parts Medley. I like my feet They're very neat None can compete With the meat In my feet I like my toes We're very close I should compose Epic prose For my toes They hold up my legs While shopping for eggs Now everyone begs To have pegs Like my legs I keep my calves around for laughs both of my halves 
take their baths with my calves. I like my thighs, they're just the right size. They help me rise to new highs, my two thighs. Nothing but a butt. Oh, it's nothing but a big butt. It's beefy and mean. Boston baked bean, burnt burrito, and a beer butt. It's a really, really big butt. It's a really, really big butt. It's beefy and mean. Boston baked bean, burnt burrito, and a beer butt. Oh, it's nothing but a butt. The heck was that? But it's really, really lean. Hardly nothing in between. Trendy out to make the scene. But it's a hardly nothing there. But it's an absent derriere. But it's really, really lean. Hardly nothing in between. Trendy out to make the scene. But some butts are lost in poker games. Some butts end up in the sling. Some butts end up as presidents who wish that they were king. But they're nothing but a butt. Double burger on a bun. But they're burly and bold. Don't you worry about the cold. Yes, they've got an extra fold. But it's a really, really big butt. It's really, really lean, hardly nothing in between, trendy out to make the scene, but... one you won't see on the Johnny Carson show or something <laughs> like that so uh, well thanks for listening and this is the song that was on the legacy uh, record it's also on my first record I saw a stranger with your hair Tried to make her give it back So I could send it off to you Maybe Federal Express Cause I know you'd miss it I saw another to try them on for size but they look the other way and they wouldn't listen but you're never hard to find in a crowd the people around you smile
Just an angel in disguise In for a visit By the way, how is my heart? I haven't seen it since you left I'm almost sure it followed you Could you sometimes send it back? I'll buy the ticket But you're never hard to find in a crowd The people around you smiling out loud The feet don't touch the Thanks very much.